welcome to the University of Delaware's Bob Carpenter Center for tonight's ceremony commemorating the 95th graduating class of Avon Grove High School, the Avon Grove High School class of 2023. My name is Christy Sneed. I'm the very proud principal of Avon Grove High School. On behalf of our faculty and staff, the school district administration, and the board of school directors, we are pleased to have the class of 2023 families, caregivers, and guests with us this evening. There are a few rules we'd like to go over. One, if you haven't silenced your cell phone, please do that. Two, during the awarding of diplomas, please be courteous and recognizing graduates so the names of all of our students can be heard by everyone. Following the ceremony, please allow the graduates to leave the floor before exiting upstairs in order to meet your graduates outside. If I can please have the senior class um, chorale please come up front. At this time, please stand if you are able and remove your caps as the Avon Grove High School Small Ensemble performs the National Anthem. was absolutely beautiful. Thank you. Before we start the main part of our ceremony, I would like to recognize the members of the class of 2023 for their commitment to the armed forces of our country. Students, when I call your name, please stand and remain standing until I ask you to be seated. The following students have made a commitment to the armed forces of the United States of America. Nicholas Galter, United States Air National Guard. <laughs> Monica Juarez Zavala, United States Army. Aiden Keller Moore, United States Navy ROTC. Jaden Daniel London, United States Air Force. Devin Osborne, United States Marine Corps. Dylan Osborne, United States Army. J. 
Jason Reuter, United States Army. Daniel Rodriguez Guyton, United States Army. And Landon Ryan, United States Navy. I'd like to personally thank each of you for your commitment to our country and its values. Thank you for your willingness to protect our freedom. Please join me in congratulating and thanking you these young people for their commitment. You may be seated. To highlight some of the accomplishments of the class of 2023, students, I'm going to ask you to listen to each statement and stand if it applies to you. Students who are in the top 10% of the graduating class, please stand. You may be seated. Students who have earned honor roll for each and every marking period while you've been at Avon Grove High School, please stand. There should be 149 of them standing. Students, you may be seated. If you played a sport at Avon Grove High School, please stand. You may be seated. Sorry if you're getting tired of standing, but I want them to understand how involved you are in the school. If you participated in an activity at Avon Grove High School, please stand. Any activity or club. You may be seated. If you attended a technical program, TCHS or Octorera Homeland Security, please stand. You may be seated. If you are duly enrolled, please stand. You may be seated. We have a lot of students who work while I also attend high school. Students, if you worked while you're attending high school, please stand. You may be seated. Looking at some future plans, if you've committed to playing sports in college, please stand. You may be seated. If you've committed to entering the workforce upon graduation, please stand. You may be seated. And students who have committed to any post-secondary school after graduation, please stand. You may be seated. Class of 2023, the start of your high school career was the start of a pandemic and you learned how to be flexible with little to no notice. You demonstrated hard work and determination. What makes your class unique is your ability to adapt and persevere. These two qualities have been tested while our society shifted. You adapted to meet the challenges and persevered through challenging times. Whether you excelled in the classroom, the shop, the lab, on stage, on the court, or on the field, you have experienced challenge and disappointment. Instead of throwing in the towel, you accepted the challenge by adapting and persevering. My hope is that you reflect on those times with pride and continue to grow from your experiences. So just to prove to you how amazing you are, 100% of the seniors are graduating this year. 100%. 
Just like you saw a few minutes ago, about 83% of this class will continue their education after they graduate this evening. They will attend 121 different schools throughout the United States. Members of this class will attend Penn State, Westchester University, Delaware Community College, Pitt, Millersville, University of Delaware, West Virginia University, Carnegie Mellon University, James Madison University, Seton Hall University, the Citadel, the Military College of South Carolina, ATC Automotive Training Center in Exton, and many others. Seniors, on behalf of the faculty and staff of the school district, we are proud of what you have accomplished both inside and outside of the classroom. You have become the type of people that make your family, school, and community very proud. We have very high expectations for your future success and the impact that you will have on the world. Do not let today be the pinnacle of your achievements. Be proud that you've earned a status of Avon Grove High School graduate, but use it as a springboard for future success. This is only the beginning of your story. Always strive to do better and win every day. You either get better or worse, you don't stay the same. Be humble in your victories and resilient in your setbacks. No one goes through life undefeated. Oprah Winfrey once said, failure is another stepping stone to greatness. Embrace being uncomfortable. Growth begins at the end of your comfort zone. Finally, your ability to do something isn't always based on what others say you will do. The one who wins the race in the long run is usually not the strongest or the fastest. It's the one who's worked the hardest. Parents, family members, guests, school district administrators, and board of school directors, it's my honor and privilege to present to you the Avon Grove High School Class of 2023. At this time, I would like to introduce the valedictorian and of Rachel Anake to deliver her speech. Thank you, Dr. Sneed, and thank you faculty, family, and friends for being here tonight to support the class of 2023. How do you approach an imperfect situation? Can you recall a task so daunting that you felt unsure where to even start? Whether it was a big school project, a job interview, or for me, writing this speech, the hardest part is embracing the challenge and getting started. But over time, with every step closer, the task becomes easier, and that scary idea doesn't seem so dreadful anymore. Like many of you, my favorite part of high school was not in the classroom unless you were one of my teachers, and in that case, your class was my favorite. <laughs> Although it was not always perfect or easy, my greatest memories came from playing on the Avon Grove girls' soccer team. After winning Chesmonts during our junior year, we were eager to improve and make it even further in playoffs. However, we kept hearing comments that we had peaked that year and were now headed downhill. With all new coaches and many talented seniors graduated, it would be a rebuilding year for the program. No team, or any group for that matter, wants to hear this, especially heading into their senior year. Our first game, which we thought should have been an easy win, ended in a tie. And this confirmed for some that our team was headed in the wrong direction. But from another perspective, this wake up call was just what we needed. Instead of giving into this narrative, and others' perceptions of the situation, we chose to look at the opportunities created. We built upon our past successes and made improvements where we could to capitalize on our strengths. Rather than reconstructing our team from scratch, we considered the positives of each past year, including coaching styles and leadership approaches. Pass by pass, play by play, game by game, we focused on what we could control our effort, our teamwork, and our passion. We entered each game and practice fully bought into our game plan, trusting and believing in each other and putting in the work to achieve our goals. As we progressed through the season, a positive mindset from all of our teammates is what ultimately led us to an undefeated season and second championship 
and I can't wait to see what the team accomplishes next year. It can be intimidating to play a game against a tough opponent, enter a job that you're unfamiliar with, or walk into a brand new high school building as a senior. You don't know what to expect. What if you get scored on, or make a mistake, or get lost on your way to class? The unknown can be daunting, but if you take a step back, you will see that you can break these big problems into smaller, more manageable pieces. Think to yourself, how might this help me in the future? What can I learn from it? Or my personal favorite, how can I make this task more fun? Reframing a challenge to approach it from a different perspective can turn an otherwise frustrating situation into an opportunity. Competing against a talented team will in turn push you to improve. A new job will build your professional skills, introduce you to new people, and teach you about your future career. And the new high school building brought more space for collaboration and physical space to breathe in the hallways. So, as you go out into this next stage of life, embrace difficult challenges, ask for help when you need it, and approach adversity as an opportunity to learn something new. Jump into this new chapter with confidence and optimism, and don't be afraid to face obstacles head on. As Winnie the Pooh once wisely said, remember that you're braver than you believe, stronger than you seem, and smarter than you think. Thank you and congratulations to all of my friends and classmates of the graduating class of 2023. At this time, I would like to introduce a salutatorian of the class of 2023, Michaela Cavanaugh, for her speech. Good evening. Congratulations. We made it. We all wish this day would come, but now that it's finally here, it is certainly met with mixed emotions. Not only does today signify the end of our years together, but it also marks the start of our transition into the real world. While the real world definitely has its advantages, leaving the safety of Avangrove will be a challenge, but it's one that I know we can all overcome. I mean, we did go to school in a building under construction, right? However, on our last day together, I wanted to leave you all with some advice from those who have shaped our past 12 years, our teachers. So the following is a summarized version of the advice and countless lessons our teachers wish to share. But first, a fun fact. The word commencement actually means a beginning, not an ending. So although graduation commencement refers to the, beginning, the ending of one time, commencement refers to the beginning of the next chapter. I hope you all keep that in mind as you listen, and bonus points if you can guess which teachers the advice came from. Although everyone's asking you what your plans for the future are, Remember that wherever you go, there you are. Live in the moment, enjoy the process, and be grateful for where you are each and every day. Start saving for retirement now. <laughs> Always focus on the front windshield and not the rearview mirror. Point your car in the direction you want to go and stomp on the accelerator. By the way, it's much more fun in a convertible. Take every opportunity you have to try something new. Some of the decisions you almost didn't make might turn out to be some of the most monumental points in your life. Stay in the present. It won't be easy, but life will pass you by before you know it if you don't pay attention. Focus on you and your mental well-being first. Everything you dream and hope for can't happen if you don't take care of yourself. Be brave, be kind. You can't change the way the wind blows, but you can adjust the sails. Life is full of things that you have no control over, things that could fundamentally change your life. Instead of dwelling on what you can't control, focus on what you can. Adapt to the challenges you face and keep moving forward. Do your best. No matter what, whatever it is, just do your best. And lastly, you will come to realize around the time that your 20th reunion rolls around that everyone has their insecurities in high school. Focus on yourself after high school and become the person you want to be, not the person people thought you were. That was a lot of advice. I hope that each of you, including parents, grandparents, friends, and family, 
can find at least one piece that will stay with you. Thank you to all the teachers and staff who are willing to offer one last piece of advice for us. And a special thank you to my family for not only listening to me practice this speech a million times, but for everything that led to this day. Today is our day to not only celebrate our accomplishments in high school, but to also celebrate everything that the future will bring. Thank you, and in the words of Mrs. Lippman, remember to drink water, plant a tree, and get some sleep. At this time, I would like to introduce the president of the class of 2023, Carlos Ochoa Martin, to deliver a speech. You guys have me nervous. Um, so, what's up guys? Uh, Carlos here. If we're gonna be honest, none of us expected me to be on this stage today. Not even I did. Um, by the end of the speech, you'll realize that there's a reason why I'm not gonna be an English major. Uh, before I ran for the presidency, I was always in my room playing Rainbow Six Siege and blasting Team and Paul into my ears, and I never got anything done. Uh, all I did was self-deprecate and daydream. Uh, this was basically my life until one day I thought it would be funny to run as class president as a joke. So I got on a Discord call with my friends, and I was asking them if I should run, and none of them vetoed. So that's the day that I submitted my campaign video, as many of you can probably remember. As time progressed, I began to hear people call me Mr. President as they walked in the hallway. I thought it was a funny joke until it wasn't. When the election results eventually came out, I wasn't even in school. In fact, I was in the doctor's office with my mom. This is when I was met with a, a mountain of phone notifications. I opened one of the messages and I froze. And my mom was like, Estas bien, Carlitos? <laughs> and then I just showed her my phone. And it's congratulations to the senior class officers. Carlos Ochoa Martin is the senior class president. <sighs> I don't remember much from that day, except I remember a sharp wave of emotions that hit me as soon as I read the message. I never really considered that I would win. And because of that, I wasn't prepared. Being uncomfortable is one of the most, I mean, it's one of the worst feelings that someone can have. Sorry, I didn't really prepare for this at all. <laughs> we all have these moments in life, uh, even, I mean, in time, even within the last four years that we're faced with an uncomfortable situation. It's in these moments that we grow and leave the situation better than how we found it. Part of you always wants to run towards the safeness of your comfort zone, but how can you grow if you continuously explore something that you already know? It's your uncomfortable moments that we discover ourselves the most. In my case, if I didn't accept the presidency, I would have stayed in the same spot playing video games and blasting music. I wouldn't even be speaking in front of all of you today, and who knows if that's for the better or for the worse. <laughs> Putting yourself out there is one of the most cliche sayings ever, yet it's true. That is how progress is made. You have to be comfortable being uncomfortable to achieve any of your goals. Take a risk, take a leap. Sometimes the biggest risk is not taking a risk at all. Never lose sight of your goals. People are always gonna be preying on your downfall. Haters are always gonna hate. That line was for the Swifties in the crowd. <laughs> Life is about to change for all of us and very fast in that sense. Whenever you decide on attending a college or a university, joining the army, entering a workforce, or even living in your mom's basement, it is important to remember that we're all making this transition together and none of us are truly alone. If you can't tell, I'm the greatest inspirational speaker of all time. <laughs> to end off my life story, I just wanted to thank all of you for the support. I know that thanking people in the beginning of the speech is proper speech etiquette, but I really don't care. Uh, and now to get back on track, I wouldn't have been able to do it with all of you, especially to all the teachers, staff, family, security guards, janitors, Angel Lorenzo, I promised him a shout out last year, and uh, Tristan Langree, be the homeboy, and even my neighbor. You all gave me an insight on what I was getting into. And thank you to my fellow class officers. I wouldn't be on this stage if it wasn't for them. We persevered throughout this whole year in order to create events and fundraise in the name of the senior class. I have a lot of gratitude and appreciation for all the time and hard work they put in for a fantastic senior year. And thank you to Mr. Z for proofreading this speech before I embarrass myself in, the, in front of the stage. But wait, I have one more thing. And I swear this is the last thing. I promised someone I'd say this. Make sure to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell. And that's it, thank you. <laughs> Last night, about 100 students were recognized at our Senior Scholarships and Award Program. 
These students received over $140,000 in scholarships and awards from our school and community. Will the students honored at the Senior Awards Program please stand and be recognized at this time? may be seated. According to our senior survey, the class of 2023 has been awarded approximately $4.6 million in scholarships, which will be used to further their education beyond high school. Will each student receiving a scholarship please stand at this time and be recognized for your achievements? You may be seated. It's time for our senior speeches. At this time, it's my pleasure to invite Gabriella Belver to the stage for a senior speech. Hi, everyone. I know this won't be the last time you hear it tonight, but I first want to say congratulations to all of my fellow peers. I want to give a huge shout out to all the parents, family members, and friends for coming out tonight as well as those who are watching at home. And I want to give one last thank you to all the faculty and staff that have made my time at Avongrove memorable. I've known for a long time that I wanted to give a speech, but the hardest part was figuring out what to write about. There were a lot of stupid cliches that I wanted to talk about. I was going to talk about COVID and our shared experience of hating the West Grove smell. Kaufman, that's for you. But it all sounded like you guys were just going to sit here and roll your eyes at me. You all know everything I'm going to say. You know it because you live through it too. But at the end of the day, cliches are cliches because they're true. It's true that these were an interesting four years that we didn't really get to experience. It's true that COVID really messed with us. I remember very clearly in eighth grade how we all couldn't wait to walk up that hill. Oh, to finally be in high school. Although we'd be known as the annoying freshman for a year, the fact that we'd be there was enough. The first few months were great. I mean, they sucked, but it was just as bad as we wanted it to be. The first, and then COVID came, and everything we knew t was tossed in the air and thrown out the window, and that also really sucked. But it's also true that we're the group that was able to come together and get through that weird online year. And then the weirder transition year. And then the weird year of having a new high school and dealing with the feeling of just being so done with constant change. Yet despite that constant uncertainty, we were able to do it together. And truthfully, I couldn't have imagined doing it with anyone else. It's true that now we're getting ready for another big change. We're starting the next chapter of our lives and we'll all probably never be in the same room again after today. And as sad as that is to think about, it's also really exciting. There's endless possibilities out there for each and every one of us. And that journey starts in maybe like an hour when we're done with this. It's true that fear and bravery are actually the same emotion, but the reaction we have to the situation at hand defines which one it is. The choice to take a breath, embrace the moment, and to keep going is inside every single one of you. I know this for a fact because I've seen you dig it out time and time again. So while these next few years may seem wary, just as the last few have, we have the choice to decide if we're up for the challenge. And knowing you all for these past eight years, I know you all are going to choose to be brave. I know you all are going to choose to take the next steps into becoming the best possible people you can be, even if I won't be there to see it. So while my time here at AG has been a wild ride that I could never have prepared for, I can't help but smile and feel grateful that I had all of you right alongside me. So for the younger siblings out there, enjoy your normal high school years for us. And for my class of 2023, as the pages of our next adventure begin to turn, continue to be brave and enjoy these years ahead. Enjoy them for your current self and enjoy them so your future self has something to smile back on. And whether you think it's cliche or not, I truly am going to miss you all. Thank you. At this time, I would like to introduce our final speaker, 
Taylor Fox to deliver a senior speech. Good evening, my fellow class of 2023. Do you remember when you were little how cool it was to sit behind the wheel of your parents' car just pretending to drive, imagining all of the places you would go? I know I do. As you all know, when the car isn't running, the steering wheel is practically immovable. So there I used to sit, tugging on the wheel, just making exhaust noises with my mouth, simply imagining where I would go if that car was running. As you also know, when you start the car, the steering wheel will quickly loosen. This movement of the steering wheel allows you to direct the once parked car. Therefore, no matter whether you are just a little kid or an adult, you cannot physically steer or drive a parked car. So many of us try to do this with the cars of our lives, our dreams. We move on to our dreams while holding on to our pasts too tightly. This parked car represents all of the memories we got to make together here in high school. We can't reach any of our dreams without starting the car and moving forward. While moving our tassels here tonight, I want us to all be able to remember the memories we made, but also grab the keys and get ready to drive our cars into the future. One person who has greatly helped me on the path of my future is Mr. Joe Coffey. When I approached him last year to explain my dream of fitness coaching in football, he welcomed me with open arms into our Avangrove High School football program. I was blessed with the opportunity to manage the team this past season, learning so much from him and the other coaches. When I was ready to commit to college, he even helped reach out to the coaches at Westchester University, helping me get a job with their team for next school year. I couldn't be more appreciative of all of these amazing opportunities. Thank you, Coach Coffey, for helping me begin the process of driving my car into the future. And for you, whatever your future plans entail, always remember, if your car is parked, you can sit and hold the steering wheel all you want, but you'll only be able to imagine all of the places you can go. You won't be able to move on to those dreams until you start the car and open your mind to the future. So, class of 2023, let's start our engines. Let's have a round of applause for all five of our student speakers, please. We will now hear from our senior ensemble under the direction of Mrs. Amanda Wilcox to perform Omnia Soul, composed by Z. Randall Stroop.
Thank you, Senior Ensemble. We can have the class officers from 2023 and 2024 come to the stage for the changing of the guard. Good evening. I'm Carl Sochoa Martin, the senior class president, and I'm honored to introduce the graduating senior class officers. For the communications officer, we have Sarah Pine. For the treasurer, we have Connor Reger. For the secretary, we have Ab Abigail Weir. For the vice presidents, we have Lindsey Hayward and Brianna Holler. And now I would like to introduce the rising senior class officers. For the communications, we have Addison Driscoll. For the treasurer, we have Vish, Vish R. <laughs> For the secretary, we have Kylie Starsenek. For the vice president, we have Matthew Mater. And for the senior class president, we have Zeta Colder. Congratulations to all of you. Thank you. It is time for the first graduating class of the brand new Avon Grove High School. Students, parents, family members, and special guests, the time has officially come to recognize each member of the Avon Grove High School class of 2023. I would like to introduce Mrs. Ashley Penn, Avon Grove High School Assistant Principal, who has the pleasure of announcing the graduates as they receive their diplomas. Rachel Leah Anake. <laughs> Michaela Catherine Cavanaugh. <laughs> Carlos Jesus Ochoa Martin. <laughs> Lindsay Renee Hayward. Brianna Clay Huller. <laughs> Abigail Lee Weir. Connor S. Rager. Sarah Elizabeth Pine. Gabriella Faith Belliver. Taylor Ellen Fox. Kyle David Anthony. Tyler Charles Barton. Misha Malvika Bahari. Amelia Margaret Boisher. Fiona Jean Buffington. 
Eva Rowan Cipitelli. <laughs> Bailey Helen Clark. <laughs> Paige Maxine Clark. <laughs> Alma Domatila Cruz Flores. <laughs> Kylie Marie Cunningham. Nicholas Sioka D'Onofrio. <laughs> Campbell Ann Delaney. Delaney Elizabeth Driscoll. <laughs> Megan Francis Dunlap. Matea Ann May Dunn. Marley Ann Ferraro. <laughs> Chinook Ghosh. <laughs> Alexander Wells Hutchinson. <laughs> Benjamin Thomas Ingram. <laughs> Tanvi Samarth Joshi. Connor Scott King. Lauren Elizabeth Konitsky. Jack Tyler McCann. Angelina Naya McGrath. Abigail Ann Mills. Caitlin Ann Oberdorster. <laughs> Sophia Leanne Pham. <laughs> Tulia Day Pizzini. <laughs> Shahana Potter. Podar. So sorry. Nathaniel S. Rager. Ansley Jolie Shell. Gavin McGrath Skinner. Cameron Elizabeth Spancake. Liliana Rose Spears. Jillian Paige Stoffer. Tanvi Falapali. <laughs> Sophia Rose Trone. <laughs> Gabriel Zavala Alonzo. <laughs> Patrick Dang. <laughs> Jesus Abila Guzman. <laughs> Jose Abila Guzman. Manuel Alejandro Abreu Vargas. Joel James Acosta. Jocelyn Aguilar Dominguez. Layla Sayuri Albadri. Ivith Alba Rodriguez. Callie Paige Albers. Daisy Alonzo. Alfred Anthony Alpini. Zane Avery Althaus. Itziar Alvarez Veraza. Guillermo Eduardo Alvarez Quiroz. Isaac Ambrosio Reynoso. Norma Maribel Ambrosio Tomas. D'Angelo Michael Anderson. Garrett Anderson. Jaden Aponte.
Katherine Lee Ardinger. Maria Batania Arikagon Rangwo. Marlene Arizaga Rodriguez. Kaylin Graciela Arizmendi Cordova. Juliana Estelle Ayers. Kaylin Marie Biocco. Ashley Rose Barnett. Reese Emma Batman. Jonathan Bedoya Lopez. Giovanni Bedoya Lopez. Brooke Amanda Benjamin. Joan Alexander Bernal. Thaddeus William Binstead. Courtney Ann Blank. Rebecca Ann Baimler. Maya Elizabeth Bond. Cassidy Ray Benora. Julia Renee Borky. Ryan Patrick Borky. Nicholas Thomas Borgini. That's all. Oh, 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 oh panicking. <laughs> Danielle Alicia Botille. Madeline Rose Bulware. Jeremiah Jordan Bournette. Taya Kailani Box. Preston Scott Boyd. Liam Michael Breslin. Madison Paige Britton. Michael Joseph Britton. Qaddafi Artrell Brodus. Noah John Brown. Tyrone Perry Brown. Alyssa Jordan Bruix. Alexander Munchev Bueller. Madeline Bulla. Zachary James Buller. Joshua Thomas Burns. Landry Naeli Kalel Cause. Jennifer Calixto. Brisa Camacho Cisneros. Jordan Victoria Campbell. Anthony Lucas Cantando. Brianna Emily Caulfield. Corinne Mary Cavanaugh. Cole Bracken Cheney. Alexander Michael Chisano. Kaylee Lynn Chowdhury. Daniel Asher Sicone. Amelia Ann Clark. Tyler Ian Miles Clark. Kelly Elizabeth Clausius. Benjamin Rafferty Cologne. Jeremy Commonfort Prado. Kylie Elizabeth Kornitzer. 
Isidro Junior Cortez Zavala. Carrie E. Cousin. Daniel Joseph Cresswell. Nathan Michael Crossan. Andrew Christopher Serpak. Emily Carol Chiswick. Kyle Joseph Chiswick. Ian Scott D'Ambrosio. Michelle, Mia Michelle D'Angelo. Andrew Michael Dasher. Shaylin Mary Deven. Jack Robert Demboski. Jane May Duvall. Mackenzie Elizabeth Diaz. Elliot Diaz Flores. Mariel Diaz Lucas. Adriana Christine DeCampley. Juliana Marie DeFlippo. Valone Disha. Kalina Alexandra Dolan. Emma Elizabeth Dunkel. Michaela Ann Eagles. Tucker Joseph Ekman. Randall Allen Edmonds. Griffin George Edwards. Owen William Edwards. Ella Francis Ergen. Denny Ubeli Escobar Lopez. Jocelyn Abon Esparra Zamores. Dieter Hans Ulf Esser. Montserrat Andrea Estrada. Kayla Lynn Everett. Nicholas David Fancher. Thomas Daniel Fall Jr. Brianna Hope Fay. Cameron Grace Felker. Owen Michael Fennessy. Carmen Olivia Fernandez. Melanie Jasmine Garcia. Eric Osvaldo Garcia Romero. Jelena Hanalora Bella Gatlin. Caitlin Rose Gatorno. Lucas Edward Jenna. Bradley Robert Gerwig. Kira Vivian Giacometti. Tyler Patrick Glick. Nicholas Aiden Golter. Daniel Gomez Gutierrez. Janelle Alexa Gonzalez. Evelyn Gonzalez Flores. Reagan Marion Gray. Karina Lynn Greco. Patricia Jean Groff. Balthazar Alexander Guzman Romero. Sophie Rain Hadzik. Cecilia Chase Haggerty. Elizabeth Naomi Hallam. Olivia Rose Halliday. Sophia Marie Hamadi. Bailey Lynn Hampton. Alyssa Marie Haynes. Veronica Lynn Haney. Elizabeth Ann Harp. 
Devin Page Hart. Olivia Jordan Hensley. Ryan Matthew Hepworth. Sophia Lane Herman. Ivy Miranda Hernandez. Cesar Alexis Hernandez Medrano. Angelo Hernandez Mendoza. Daniel Herrera. Mario Herrera Navarretti. Ethan Andrew Hill. Ryan Daniel Hines. Cassidy Lynn Hoover. Aria Shane Hoobergs. Lily Ann Hopkins. Ethan Mark Hudson. Wyatt Nathaniel Hughes. Nora Patricia Hull. Nathan Ray Hyman. Edwin Ibarra Rosilis. Sean Robert Ionescu. Connor McLean Ivy. Catherine Alyssa Jackson. Sanaya Alethea Nicole Jackson. Haley Morgan Jennings. Martin Jimenez. Lucero Jimenez Bedoya. Madeline Audra Jones. Stanley Roger Jones. Monica Wara Zavala. Shelby Lynn Judge. Grace Carlin Keen. Alexa Shea Kelleher. Aiden Michael Keller Moore. Drew William Kelly. Madison Case Kellogg. Nicholas James Camellis. Capria May Campista. Abigail Ray Kessler. Ava Monet Kerwin. Joshua Ryan Kitrosser. Christopher Matthew Kocher. Alexander McDaniel Coe. Julian Kudstaw. Allison Sophie Kressler. Jake John Cavergas. Tristan James Langreby. Aubrey Hermini Landis. Garrett Edwards Landon. Sherlyn Lara. Jaden May Laws. Nicholas Michael LeClaire. James Daniel Lee. Noah Alexander Lee. Sabrina Elizabeth Lee. Tyler Philip Lichko. Emmanuel Roland Laguno Reyna. Jaden Daniel London. Christopher Joseph Lopapa. Nayeli Lopez. Oscar Jared Lopez. Anthony Josue Lopez Diaz. Jonathan Lopez Victoria. Derek Lopez Zamudio. Stephanie Elizabeth Lopez Zavala. 
Trent Thomas Lukovich. Kevin Luna. Juan Andres Luna Zavala. James Edward McGregor. Justin Liam Mackley. Dulce Cristal Magana Diaz. Jordan Xavier Mahaffey. Alex Anna Mako. Christopher Walter Malone. Eden Alexandra Manalescu. Lindsay Lords Marcelo Zavala. Nicholas Joseph Marsala. Guadalupe Martinez Paramo. Kelsey Jane Masters. Evan Thomas Matthews. Sean Joseph McCoy. Skylar Marie McCullough. Teague Jacob McDaniel. Gavin Joseph McGinn. Joshua Joseph McCurl. Francis James McEwen. John Rowan McKinnon. Kyle Patrick McLaughlin. Brian Medina Castaneda. Mia Medina Jimenez. Austin Frederick Merle. Owen Zachary Meth. Jenna Ann Miller. Emma Elizabeth Mills. Logan Griffith Mills. Kira Madison Mitchell. Juan Rigoberto Mondragon Escobar. Maria Mora Garcia. Madeline Grace Moran. Garrett Patrick Morris. Jackson Xavier Morris. Emma Grace Moss. Eileen Francis Mully. Kayla Ann Murray. Hayden Stewart Nangle. Charles Marshall Natras. Cheney Robert Natras IV. Isaiah James Edward Norris. Olivia Morgan Norris. Jocelyn Nova. Sherlyn Nunez Medina. Landon Riley O'Brien. Alexander Robert O'Keefe. Isabel Marie O'Keefe. Timothy John Oakes. Alejandro J. Ocampo Gonzalez. Ulysses Asaguera Araguin. Brandon Eduardo Ochoa Perez. Stephanie Oliveras Lemus. Philippe Ortiz. Devin James Osborne. Dylan Matthew Osborne. Joshua Curry Oswald. Amparo Umberto Pantoja Ramirez. Jake Anthony Pappas. Neam Paranj Patel. Neil Shailendra Penzi. 
Johnny William Pepe. Victor Daniel Perez Vasquez. Jack Owen Perlman. Crystal Lynn Patron. Amanda Rose Phillips. Seth Richard Pierce. Jonathan Davis Player. Ezekiel Ponciano. Julio Junior Ponciana Luna. Erica Lynn Poole. Ella Ray Porter. Julia Marie Potts. Samuel Edward Powers. Matthew Isaiah Procopio. Lila Catherine Priswara. Jake Andrew Racy. Daniel Ramirez Juarez. Dylan Grant Raymond. Brady Alexander Reagan. Rebecca Colleen Retta. Jason William Reuter. Brian Reyes Alvarez. Christian Reyes Bernal. Matthew Caden Reynolds. Cesar Moises Reynoso Vasquez. Megan Siobhan Riley. Emily Elizabeth Rainier. Ethan Alexander Rivera. Nicholas Joseph Rourke. Julia Ray Robb. Daniel Rodriguez Gaitan. Fabian Rodriguez Lemus. Carolina Rosa. Jamelcy Nicole Rosado. Gabriela Ruiz. Jason Jesse Rusen. Ainsley Pennington Rutherford. Landon Tyler Ryan. Melissa Grace Sebastro. Nicholas Rocco Sieni. Allison Salazar Garcia. Sean Salisbury. Genesis Yamaleth Sanchez Gonzalez. Julissa Sanchez Romo. Bryce Alexander Sanders. Macy Juliet Sheck. Emma Joan Scheibe. Bailey Renee Shotton. Catherine Lillian Shotton. Ella Layden Schultz. Wyatt Landon Sensenig. Kyle David Settlemeyer. Zachary Charles Sharp. Amelia Claire Sharon. Anaya Jasmine Simpson. Olivia Catherine Slammon. Alexa Grace Smith. Ashley Brooke Smith. Ashlyn Bailey Smith. Jasmine Sosa Olmedo. Andrew Michael Spancake. 
Margaret Rose Stevens. Isaiah Nigel Stewart. Lance Max Maxwell Subramanian. Chelsea Mackenzie Sullins. Dean John Sylvester. Connor Ryan Templin. Nathan Anthony Tache. Jacob Chadwick Texter. Angelique Rochelle Thibodeau. Hunter Matthew Thompson. Jonathan David Thorngate. Theodoric Nathaniel Tibbles. Ian Michael Tickman. Wilmer Ishmael Tomas Ramos. Ashley Torres Sanchez. Natalie Marie Towers. Ryan Thomas Troutman. Sarah Alyssa Tucci. Dominic Vincenzo Tercy. Cameron Hunter Valentine. Tessa Catherine Vanello. Brian Antonio Vasquez Cordero. Juan Jose Velasquez Aon. Mariana Vilgomos Lopez. Juliana Villalobos Bedoya. Wendy Villacana Lopez. Leah Ann Vallone. Jasmine Marie Vitelli. Gage Anthony Walker. Jenna Lynn Waltz. Hannah Isabella Brooke Ward. Michelle Helen Wassel. Ash M. Weir. Preston Arthur Welcher Shea. Annabelle Catherine Whiteford. Peyton Elizabeth Whitney. Chloe Amara Wiggins. John Francis Williamson. Ethan Maddox Lutz Wills. Julian Isaac Wojcik. Amani Jolie Woodard. Gavin James Wysocki. Morgan Gwyn Yingling. Ava Gabrielle Yoder. Owen Michael Yoder. Shane Russell Young. Emma Rose Zaleski. George Rosario Zapone. Maria Elizabeth Zavala Zavala. And the last member of the class of 2023 is Amy Elizabeth Zook.
Alvin Grove High School, class of 2023, please rise. The moving of the tassel at graduation symbolizes one's movement from student to graduate. Students at this time, please move your tassel from the right to the left. Congratulations to the class of 2023. Hold on to your hats, not yet, not yet, not yet. <laughs> Senior members of the chorale, you may make your way to the front of the stage. The words of the alma mater are in your program right after the students' names. After the alma mater, we will have our cap toss. We're going to wait until everyone's seated um, just to make sure we have everyone as a cohesive group. Audience, if you can please stand if you're able as we listen to the words of the Adam Grove Chorale perform the alma mater. As a reminder, the words are in your program. Audience may be seated. Students, please remain standing. At this time, please take your tassel off of your cap. You don't want to lose your tassel, trust me. Okay, we're going to count to three, and then we're going to do our cap toss. Okay, so please hold on to it. Okay, so get ready. Take it off your head. All right, on the count of three, we'll have your cap tossing. Congratulations, everyone. One, two, three. <laughs> the class of 2023.